Atata kutato Atako taka Mchifa tabe tato Pako wenu Brebe gotik Wana fao kekowe Brema wane Wana tabe tinjino Awana jawe mba So that etiko singe ziochi Long life, long life Long life, what you achieve? Long life, long life, we wish you long life on the throne. Long life, long life, long life, what you achieve? Long life, long life, we wish you long life on the throne.
while we are waiting, we would like to recognize the presence of the Temple Choir, the Congregational Choir of the Prebiterian Church, Bastos, Yaoundé, the female choristers of the Prebiterian Church, Bastos, Yaoundé. You're welcome. want to use the opportunity to give a special week to the chiefs of all the villages and towns of Manu who are here and those who have come from afar. coming up in a little while on the occasion of the installation of the of His Royal Highness the Chief of Osing the clergy of this area also want to commit this whole celebration into the hands of the Almighty God can we rise in the name of God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Sovereign Lord, the word says at the mention of your name, every opposing forces will bow. We pray them to bow, that this weather will be favorable, 
for the honor of this day. Our Father and our God, their word says, it is you, God, who ordains an authority. We are here this day for this purpose. We pray that Father God in heaven, that Lord, you will crown your son, his royal highness, Major General, Tato James, with this honor. That he will be a blessing to this community, a blessing to this nation. Our Father and our God, I want to thank you for all the signatories present here. They have come all far away for, to be an eyewitness of this occasion. I am praying, Lord, that you will bless them. The Father, they are being here. Oh, Lord, will not be in vain. You will bless them. I pray that Lord will take control of this occasion. From the beginning, our faces are shining. So be in our hearts also. Let this occasion be really blessed. We give it all into your hand. Command and control in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. We'll have a short reflection as part of this prayer from Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. Let us listen to God's word. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people groan. Amen. My dear friends, in biblical sociology, all authority comes from God. In ancient times, people used this belief to develop the concept of the divine right of kings. Unfortunately, because of human failure, the idea of the divine right of kings was most often than not abused because human beings tend to raise themselves to the level of God and then began playing God. Even in modern times, there are leaders who promote a culture of impunity as if people live in a jungle where the law of might reigns over the weak and the vulnerable. Unfortunately, most often than not, when every quest for arbitration has failed in history, people tend to resort to the same jungle laws by which they have been oppressed for years to defend themselves. And so it was, for instance, that during the French Revolution, the people shouted equality and fraternity and freedom while they fed the notorious guillotines with the heads of their leaders. My friends, all authority comes from God. It is God who appoints leaders. The people may apply for various leadership positions, but it is God only who ultimately determines which leadership roles we play. So leadership development comes through character development because character is the greater assignment. God's will is that a good leader should achieve for his people life in abundance. And Christians believe that leadership is a call. It is a vocation. It is a service. We believe that all authority is derived from God and it is held in trust from God. My dear friends, so a leader who draws his power from the devil uses his power to oppress his people and brings them a reign of terror and death. And so because all authority is from God, those in power should commune with God constantly. It is to God that we shall render the account of our stewardship because in doing our work, we do it as serving God, not as human beings. My dear friends, we are happy here today 
because our brothers and sisters of Hussein have chosen an illustrious son of theirs, General James Carter, to be their king. From early childhood, General Carter has been exposed to a good Christian education. He was among the first batch of CPC in Bali and has never wavered in his faith in Jesus Christ. He remains a simple member of the CNF, and even from the height of a military general, he has remained humble and self-effacing. Evelyn Wack, the great military chronicler, who has written a lot about world war and the conduct of English officers, he has titled one of his books, Officers and Gentlemen. And how so fully does General Tata fit into that mold of an officer and a gentleman? A widely read man, you discover the intellectual genius in him when you engage him in a conversation on contemporary issues. But make sure you don't challenge his command position. My dear friends, power is a dangerous thing unless you have humility. And so, though trained in the art of warfare, General Tato is a man, my love. The love that asks no questions, the love that stands the test, that lays upon the altar the dearest and the best. My dear friends, the institution of Chief Stancy goes back into ancient times. And those days, Chiefs conducted themselves with integrity because they dispensed justice with fairness. They were impartial arbiters in whom the poor, the weak, and the widow sought refuge. Today, unfortunately, we notice that by and large, the Chieftain's institution has declined and lost most of its telling qualities. Some chiefs have become such a nuisance to their subjects, living in idleness, compromising the rich cultural values of their people, and selling titles even to those who don't deserve it. I think a lot has to be done by our chief dancers to, be, to regain the lost dignity and honor of the institution of chief dancing. It will seem they have chosen one of their best, and the Lord Jesus said, unto whom much is given, much shall be required. General Tato said, you have been called upon by God to lead your people. Lead them in the spirit of Christ. Lead your people into prosperity, because all good things come only from God. As a Christian, always remember that spiritual ends require spiritual means, and spiritual means come only from the Holy Spirit. So depend on God and commune with Him daily in prayer and the study of His Word, and look up to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Because Jesus has taught us that the way up is down, and by walking the way of the cross, Jesus was raised to be the King of Kings, and God has bestowed on him the name that is above all other names, that in the name of Jesus, all knees shall bow and every tongue confess Jesus as Lord. If every, anything we in Cameroon have developed psycho fancy into quite an art, and there are people who really hate you inside and can smile with you so openly and call you praise names. It has been said, that he who knows flatter knows to slander. And so, we can only encourage you in the words of Norman MacLeod, who said, some will hate thee, some will love thee. Some will flatter, some will slight. Cease from man and look above thee, trust in God, and do the right. My dear friends, to succeed as a people, you have to be the same mind with a common purpose not people who are sitting when they ought to be standing or standing when they ought to be sitting. In another piece of wisdom literature in the Bible, we read like this. 
He says, do you see a man diligent in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Today, we have come to see a diligent man who is not only standing before kings, but who, because of his devotion, who, because of his talent and merit, has found, God has found favor on him and made him king. That man is His Royal Highness, General James Tabet Tato, King of Osin. May God's name be blessed. Amen. The Bible, and we would like, as a church, to present this word of God to General James Tato. It has the story of salvation and some very good stories of military warfare.
Yes, there are so many things about tomorrow. So many things rocking our minds. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. My new attitude to one man, my attitude to one of them, she passes to the movie. She has one time, she has one time. 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 She The Vice President of the Sintang Council, please. A welcome address presented by the Vice Chairman of the Sint Traditional Council, UTC Councilor Duke Tabot Thomas, on the occasion of the official recognition of His Royal Highness before Major General James David Tato, his 55th day of February 2006 marks a new era in MC. The senior divisional officer, your excellency ministers and members of government, our excellency vice president of Cameroon National Assembly, your excellency ministers of religion, your royal highnesses, distinguished guests, all protocol respected, ladies and gentlemen. I feel happy and consider myself privileged to welcome all of you present here today on behalf of the Chief of the Traditional Council and all the population of the on this great occasion. For singing a peaceful time, we will ask all of you to feel free like the citizens of the About one year ago, Osim fell into darkness when the wise chief of Osim for Solomon Ashu Ari was called by our heavenly father to the great beyond to meet our ancestors. I am proud to have been a member of his team who learned much from his right old age. This great man who ruled Osim for more than 35 years, at the end of which he directed us to great choice that is now for us to focus. I wish to quote his right up as he departed from us. This codicia especially concerns with the appointment of the next chief of Hussein in the event of my death. The above named person, Major General James Tabe Tato, should be installed at once on the eighth day after my death. He is the only capable person who will be able to pick up and start the development of Osim Town from where I have left. I'm not forcing this proposal of mine on you, but because of this, you will like it and give me the honor and of quotation. Today, respected guests, ladies and gentlemen, we the Osim people are demonstrating that we need peace and continuation. We just want our late chief, I mean, we're doing what our late chief proposed to us, and we are therefore calling upon the government representative here by the senior divisional officer for Manu to solemnize our actions in this official coronation of His Royal Highnesses, Major General for Jeff Tabet Tato as the chief of Osim. You are therefore welcome to Osim for this great occasion. Finally, I wish you all messes, many messes to your respective rooms. Don't leave Osim Chiefdom. Don't leave the Republic of Cameroon. Thanks, Mr. Tabot. Um, we might... Mr. Tabot, you have to present your speech to the SPO, please.
venant d'avoir le, le discours du président Lazer au président de, de, du conseil euh, traditionnel de Sing. Euh, Excusez-moi cette interprétation, mais c'est aussi une traditional council. Et nous allons maintenant écouter les mots du président de l'association de développement et culturel d'Ossi, le président de l'OTCA, Ossi Development Cultural Association. Vous êtes bienvenue. Nous allons revenir à la fin de la fin. Please. Mon français sera des fois si accidenté que mon lien lui-même sera dans des situations assez difficiles. Ne me blâmez pas, je vous suis. Que mon lien lui-même sera. Thank you for that little joke. Your Excellency is the Minister of Forestry and Wildlife, Vice President of the National Assembly, representative of the Prime Minister and Head of Government, the Senior Divisional Officer for Mayu, the Right Reverend Moderator of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon, Your Royal Highnesses, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the OSIN Development and Cultural Association, abbreviated ORCA, I am highly delighted to welcome all of you to this eventful and historic day in the life of our village. The coronation of the Chief of Hussein is occurring at the beginning of the new millennium, thus offering us a unique chance to plan better for the future of our village. We are happy to thankful to the men of God for the prayer God's offer to usher Austin village into a millennium of peace and prosperity. I'm praying for a new chief to be bestowed with the wisdom of King Solomon to manage his great city called Austin London. Together, let us count ourselves blessed to be part of this rare historical process whose impact and ramifications shall be felt and remembered for several decades to come. On behalf of the Osin Development and Cultural Association, I wish to congratulate His Royal Highness in FIFA, Tabo, James and the entire Hussein village for unanimously accepting you as their leader, for truly you are a square peg in a square hole. Uh, as the president of Orca, I wish to reassure you of our unalloyed support and full collaboration to forge the development of our village. After all, the mission of Orca is to unite the Osin people, to encourage development-oriented projects to meet with the development challenges of our times, and finally, to promote our cultural and spiritual heritage. Ladies and gentlemen, Major General James Tabet Tato, who now ascends the throne, is the 15th chief of Osin village. He takes over from 4 SARA, who was called to a well-deserved rest in May 2005. May we all rise and observe a minute of silence in its honor. Makati Machet Kanukundan Po, Unarundi. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Please kindly be seated. We will always remember for S.A.R.A. for his endless efforts 
sustain the Valley Water Supply Project to keep the town villages together and the expansion of the educational and health institutions in Ustin. Behind this Oscar philosophy was General James David Tato, who today is His Royal Highness Ntifa James Tabe Tato. He has been patron and main financier of major projects of this building. Ladies and gentlemen, most of you should be wondering why the choice of a soldier. Can soldiers be good administrators and civil leaders? The answer is obvious. History reveals that most of the outstanding leaders up to our times have been military people. Just to cite a few, Charles de Gaulle of France, Eisenhower of the United States, Church Hill of Britain, and of course, a complex nearest neighbor, Nigeria, is led by a former general in the army, General Opa Sangyo. Who says General James Tabetato is not better than his colleagues? We, of Ustin, strongly believe that he is the right leader of Ustin for the third millennium. We also note that he has been at the forefront of all the government projects in Ustin, a promoter of the bilingual nature of Ustin, the gatherer of the indigents, and now that he is the leader, who thinks shall be rapidly transformed into a well-structured village meriting the name Osin City. This is our wish. <laughs> However, for this to be achieved, we admit that there are many challenges such as poverty and disease, unemployment for our graduates, some of whom are farming, moral decadence, poor roads, absence of mechanized farming, inadequate infrastructure and staffing for our schools. Despite all these worries, we are confident that TRIFA is equal to the task. We, the people of Osing at home and in the diaspora, will continue to remain united and committed to community spirit and our values of love for one another. To all our in-laws, we acknowledge your presence and the wonderful support and encouragement that you have always rendered to the Osing community. We wish to acknowledge more especially our in-laws from Bambalang in the Northwest province. Yesterday, you gave us a princess. Today, we have made her the queen of Ocean, London. <laughs> we are equally thankful to your Royal Highnesses and this in advance for receiving and ushering our chief to the prestigious institution of chieftaincy in the division and province. Though a newcomer, he is not a fox. So please get no tail. To all our distinguished guests, we recognize and acknowledge your presence and sincerely thank you for standing with us as we write a new chapter in the history of Osing. We are equally thankful to the government for all their assistance and especially the quick attention given to our desire not to have a leadership vacuum created in our beloved village. For this, we send our gratitude to the head of state and his government through the senior district officer of my division. We wish all of you God's traveling mercies as you return to your various destinations 
after this reform meeting event. God bless our chief. God bless Hussein, the city in the meeting. God bless you all. Long live Cameroon. of the official installation of the Fort General Tattoo J. Paramount ruler of Osin Village on Saturday, 25th February 2006 at Osin Village. Your Excellencies, Members of Government, the Vice President of the National Assembly, the Representative of the Prime Minister, the SGO for Manu, the Geo of the Umanga Subdivision, Lord Mayor of the Umanga Rural Council, Your Majesty's Royal Highnesses, the traditional rulers from Manu, Southwest, Northwest, and other parts of the country present here, the Osing Development and Cultural Association, distinguished and invited guests, the Osing people, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor and privilege for me to express on behalf of the night leaders, the chief of Manu, our profound and immense gratitude 
to the Hussein people in general, and to the Hussein Cultural and Development Association in particular, for inviting all the chiefs of Manu to be part of this history-making event, thanks official installation of His Royal Highness in four general chapter days. The English expression, the king is dead, long live the king, is no contradiction at all. And it is nowhere truer than the events which have been taking place here in Osin within the last 10 months. First, my chiefs, the natural and smooth change from for SEA Ray to for General Tato demonstrates the maturity of the Osin people and the stability of the chieftaincy institution here in the Osin children. This rather, this rather happy event proves wrong all the messiahs of doom who predict that chieftaincy change in Manu is equal to lengthy and unwarranted distance. We Manu chiefs feel particularly happy that in four general chapter has come in at the right time to fill in the unfathomable gap created by the disappearance of our cherished and loved, uh, the, our cherished and loved departed father and belief in for SERA. We are, <coughs> sorry, we are once more grateful to the Osin people for providing us somebody like General Tata to take their rightful place in my division of chiefs' countries. Before General Tato is joining our ranks as a chief with a lot of unparalleled experience in managing people and resources. We see General Tato as a great example for us all. His love for Manu and Hussein are unquestionable. Nobody can fail to notice his investment in Osim as well as in Manfica. Although he has spent more of his, most of his life serving the country outside Manu, he has always preserved a measure of his time and resources for Osim and Manu people. We look forward to seeing him back home so that he might devote most of his, of his time and it is Sorry, in the service of our sins and my people. Tato, we, your peers, are happy to be here. We wish you a happy reign over your people. Our gift to you is a widow's mind, but it is full of symbolism. The elephant is the largest land mammal. Wherever it is, it can always be noticed. Nobody will pass through a scene without noticing the chief and his past. We would like you to have this elephant tusk at the right time when it is time of gift. We should be a souvenir of this day. Once more, on behalf of my colleagues, we wish you, your family, and your people success. May God bless you. Thank you.